David has these bags of chips in his pantry. A bag of Fritos, two bags of Cheetos, two bags of Doritos, three bags of potato chips, two bags of Funyuns. David will randomly choose one bag of chips. Then he will put it back and randomly choose another bag of chips. What is the probability that David will choose a bag of Fritos and then a bag of potato chips? A, one-fifth, B, two-fifths, C, two-forty-fifths, or D, three out of one hundred. So we're going to set up our problem. After we read the entire word problem, I'm going to underline the question. What is the probability that David will choose a bag of Fritos and then a bag of potato chips? Probability is a key word here. Now let's label, circle all of our numbers, box all of our keywords or our, our types of chips. Randomly is a key word that we have in our vocabulary, probability. Randomly again, he would choose a bag of Fritos. And then, this means that we're going to combine them. Then a bag of potato chips. So potato chips and Fritos are also our key words. So the first step, after we label, we're going to start evaluating. We know that there's a total of 10 bags of chips. There's 10 bags of chips total. Our formula is going to be part over a whole. What is the probability that he would choose a bag of Fritos? Well, there's one bag of Fritos, so the part would be one. So for Fritos, the part would be one over the whole of 10. All right, this is for Fritos. Now, for potato chips, I'll abbreviate that as P chips. There's three bags of potato chips, that's the part. The whole would be 10. Part over a whole would be one out of 10 for Fritos. Part out of a whole would be three out of 10 for potato chips. Now we're gonna multiply. We have one over 10 multiplied by three over 10. One times three is equal to three. 10 times 10 is equal to 100. There's no common factors between three and 100 because three is prime. All right, we'll circle that. Our answer is D. C, B, and A are all not accurate. We evaluated, we select the correct answer. All right, thank y'all very much for watching this video. I hope that it helps y'all. Let me know if y'all have any questions. Thank you.